segment. Uh, yeah. Now what? That's a good question. Anyone have any idea of something to make? I can, uh... Here's my pencil. Here's my pencil. I can take off the last one, but, uh... Yeah, um... Like it hopefully says up at the top, um... I am making things that you suggest. Haven't focused much on fire items. Okay. Fire... I'm just gonna go through my notes and talk about some of the things that fire is in. So, you have fire in things like burner fuel for a laboratory burner. Um, uh, airship fuel for ship. Uh, da, 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 da. Rocket propellant, obviously. Um, explosives. I don't think I'm going to try to make that on this stream, but, uh, maybe on another stream. Uh, Ruby? Like the gem? I don't know if that would have fire in it. I don't know. Okay, so fire's also in stuff like alcohol. Um... And, oh, uh, hi, uh, Shadow Cluster. Um, this is a fire risky. That could be interesting. Just a second. Let me, there's a solution in, yeah, there, there's one of these things is, this is a, um, I don't know what Amaro is, but it's some kind of beverage. Does anyone know what Amaro is? I'm sure someone does, because it showed up in this video game. Uh, but yeah, um, Sha Shadow Cluster. So this game is Opus Magnum. It's an alchemy game. You take, uh, basically, um, you have a bunch of alchemical materials, which... In the universe of this game, it actually works. Like, you can make lead into gold. Um, you have this series of metals that go from lead to gold, and you can use quicksilver or other shenanigans to convert it. You have these four elements, uh, some kind of salt element, and then you have life and death. Uh, this stream is specifically... People in the chat are like... Can you make, let me open up a list of examples. Can you make, uh, what's the, the thing at crime scenes where you, you it makes all the blood stains show up? I have, n I have very little idea about foods. There's not a lot of foods in the Numenor. So this one is my attempt to, our attempt to make luminol. Um, that's the thing. You you come up with something, and I'm like, okay, in the universe of this alchemy BS, what would make a little bit of sense? Uh, caramel. So it's a food. It's sugar. It um. I mean, sugar and fire. Yeah, our elements are earth, air, fire, and water. And maybe, like, some special things like essence, like, like, uh, salt stabilizes things, quicksilver things, makes things more reactive. Yeah, okay, I can, maybe? I don't know. I know, I, like, I feel like geometry definitely comes into it. Um, 
Okay, so I think caramel is definitely going to be some kind of chain because it is that stringy, stretchy stuff. Like you pull taffy. Um, I mean, I guess I might be making taffy here, but uh, I I feel like I mean, okay, caramel and taffy are different things. Let's let's think about caramel for a minute. Sugar is like water and carbon. Okay. Okay, so maybe we have water, earth, sh fire, and salt as our elements to make a caramel. Like some kind of shenanigans involving those things. Um... So, I mean, there's things that are meant for consumption, but they're all like potions. Like, like, drink this and it'll make you feel warm. Or, or drink this and it will help preserve your health. Two, okay. I love your your username, Anticoagulants. Um, two sugar molecules with a fire in the middle. Uh, I like the idea of two things with a fire in the middle. Um, so what would sugar be? I don't know. I'm just making something up. Does does that make any sense at all? Or maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, sugar is a crystal. What shape are sugar crystals? One water, one salt, a couple of earths, you say? Pointy squares like rock candy. Oh, right, obviously. Huh. I'm glad to hear that there are tournaments. I'm definitely not an optimizer. That's not how I play. Any... But, like... Yeah, that's cool. Uh... Like, hit me up if... Someone's winning a tournament and they're like, hey, why don't we grab some things off the Steam Workshop or whatever. Um, but yeah, okay. Would something like that make sense? Um, I, I, I don't know how I feel about, like, having that much... Having that much earth in it. Like, I'm trying to do the suggestion that someone made earlier of you have two sugar things with caramel connecting them. It's a lot of... This feels like a lot of earth, but, like, it's also... But, like, if, if, if two earth, a water, and a salt is what feels right, then this would cover it. And it would be a nice little stiff, crystalline kind of thing, probably. So if that sounds good to you, then I can just go ahead and do that. 
and I'm connecting it in via the salt because that just makes more sense to me. Okay. Okay. Okay, I could I could I could try this. Sure, why not? Um Right. So like question is how much stuff like how big a thing should for, should like sugar be like should that be kind of a huge structure um i mean i could like just stick in a couple extra salts like that maybe But, like, that just really makes it really complicated. Um. I, I. Th I feel like. Like, a lot of the crystals here seem to be very connected. Like, the crystalline stuff, like the alchemical jewel and the timing crystal. And, like, the sword is pretty connected. Um... We could take out the water and just have two salts and two... Two earths, if that makes sense to people. I mean, it is... Is there that's made with salt and earth and what what is like what is that like I feel like there just aren't a ton of earth based substances in the base game there's the hair product and I mean, there's the hair product. I don't... And the lipstick. And the solvent. Like, literally, I think those might be the only times that... No, the climbing warp fiber uses earth. So I don't think... <sighs> right. right. Not all crystals are fully connected. So, okay, how about something like this lower half as base version, I don't, <sighs> yeah, I don't know, they don't look at, like, food that you chew in this game very much. Yeah. I mean, I... I don't know how I feel about, like... using a rectangle that's not fully connected because like parallelogram because like those things like are known for the way that they change shape I don't know I mean obviously other shapes would change shape too um fire connected to the salt and the earth
So let me try to um, let me try to guess what you're talking about on the top here. Um. So like using the tentative new design, it would be something like that. I mean, it's nice when the shape looks nice. That's true. This would effectively be like an hourglass shape, which is kind of funny. And like, like thinking about like the geometry of like the viscous sludge and so forth. Um, like, I feel like if you have places that other copies of this, of whatever you're making, can get stuck, then you, then that, that contributes to things being sticky. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm the one who's been playing the game, which is why I offered, which is why I'm like, I should do this thing. Okay, caramel, for crying out loud. Uh, maybe it doesn't need the fire at all. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to start from scratch. Maybe a standard, if, if we're looking at like this as a standard, uh, sugar kind of thing, then maybe we just attach two of them together and it's like, the, the reason why Hmm. No, I think having the fire in there does kind of separate it out. I don't know. I'm just, I, I think what I'm going to go for is earth and salt. And I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and switch it around to connect it up like that. And then something like that. Um, wait. Okay. So I'm looking Earth. What's the shape of this thing? Can you like, I don't know, have slashes indicating where the line breaks should go? Like just retype it with the slashes indicating line breaks.
Earth's... Okay, so four and then four. And it goes Earth, Salt... Wait, no, five. Earth, Salt, Fire, Earth, Salt... Earth, Salt... Earth... Like, like this kind of thing? So these are our halves, and then... It's connected across somehow. Okay. Okay. I think I want to wrap this up. If, like, this seems like in the, well, no, actually, okay. I'm going to try to borrow elements from the various things that we've done and make something that, like, works for me. Um, so, this is what I'm thinking right now. We have the, we have the fire in the middle, and it's connecting between two of these crystals of salt and earth, but, uh, asymmetrically. And, um... These represent sugar, and this represents caramelization of the sugar. That looks like a, and it's and it's jaggedy, which represent which which means it's going to like get tangled up in itself. So, I'll go ahead and give that a shot. Wait, why did it... Right. There's no reason to have water as a reagent available here. Alright. Okay. So I think, I think the way I'm going to do this is that I'm going to make one half, attach it to the fire, and then make the other half, attach it to the fire, and then offload. So let's just make a structure which can make two of these things.
Oh, uh, no worries. Um, babies are a priority over alchemy under most conditions. Um, okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so I am, I'm trying to do some deep shenanigans here right off the bat, which is a brilliant idea and never actually ends up being really inconvenient and annoying. Um, okay, so you are going to drop, rotate more, grab that and rotate back. You are going to spin this like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to just go ahead and make two of them and they will get dropped off here. And that will be the start of my the start of my amazing plans. Um Okay. to attach there so sorry I I forgot to tell my phone that it had to be silent
Okay. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I can move this fire atom to here. So arm four, arm three returns to pick up the next block at the end of that cycle. Arm four... Rotate, plus, and spin back. Yeah. Three picks up the other one, and here at the next to last cycle, it rotates another square to bring this to here, spins it a couple times in returns. Let's see what happens. It crashes into itself. That wasn't expected. Also, it needed to rotate the other way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but less than I actually rotated it. Okay, I think this might actually solve it. Okay. That actually worked. That's cool. Uh, but there's one critical flaw that needs to be remedied in this, and that is that the Critelli logo of the Alchemy engine is not placed in a prominent location in the center of the design. You have to give credit to the people who make these wonderful machines which we build. I could. You know what? I'll think about it off stream whether I want to rename caramel to caramel color or something like that. Um, No, it's a good suggestion. It's a good suggestion, and I might end up renaming it. But I will decide if I want to rename that off stream. Um, yeah, foodus is not an issue. A lot of uh, the, the compounds are things that can be consumed. Um, 
I think I think I'm going to take a short break here and uh, let you folks talk about uh, things you might want me to make. And then I will start up the recording again and I'll be right back.